Let's get to the point. Your monthly market report for an Arena Sparks Association of Realtors. My name is Erica Lamb, your 2020 president. This month's market report is brought to you by the Nevada Rural Housing Authority, Home at Last. In 2006, the Nevada Housing Authority launched the Home at Last Home Financing Program to expand home ownership opportunities throughout our state. Visit their website at nvrural.org to learn more. Now let's take a look at the local real estate market. Let's get to the point. The median price for the month of May was $399,900, only a 3.6 decrease from April and an increase of 2.5% from May of 2019. May units sold were up 2.3% from April with 396 units sold and down 42% from May the previous year. May brought 601 new listings to the Reno Sparks area, showing an increase of 3.8% from April, but down 37.7% from May 2019. May 2020 month supply of inventory is down to 2.1 month supply, a decrease of 11.8% from April and an increase of 5% from May 2019. The average days to contract for May remained low at 39 days. Due to low inventory levels, properties are moving quickly in our area. And now it's time for the monthly Economic Minute with Elliot Eisenberg. Elliot is a nationally acclaimed economist and the author of the blog Econ70. Elliot, we have been hearing that the shape of the rebound could be a V, an L, or a W. What exactly does all of that mean in layman's terms? That's a great question, Erica. And while some people expect the recovery to be V-shaped or L-shaped or hockey stick shaped, the recovery is most likely to be a check mark shape or a dreaded W shape. Let me explain. The economic decline that we're just about to get out of now will have been three or four or five months in duration. But the economic recovery that's gonna take place that might well be quite robust will probably take somewhere around three years to get us back to where we were before the coronavirus sheltered us in place and wrecked our economy. That means that the recovery is gonna take a lot longer than the decline, which was short and very steep. That's a, a real check mark, short and then long. The dreaded W-shape recovery occurs if in the fall when the flu season starts, coronavirus comes back with such strength that it forces us to go back into sheltering in place mode and, and, her, and their economy has to restart. But hopefully we're prepared for it, we, we, we take good precautions, we're careful, and we are rewarded with a true check mark shape recovery. That's it for now, see you next month. Thank you, Elliot. We look forward to hearing from you next month. Before we wrap up this month's To The Point video, I would like to welcome Gary McDonald, President-Elect for 2020, to chat about the current directives in place that are impacting real estate and what we can do to protect buyers and sellers. Take it away, Gary. Thank you, Erica. I wanted to take time to address some of the questions that have been surfacing since the governor launched phase two of his roadmap to recovery. Before I answer these questions, I want to thank the legal team at our state association, Nevada Realtors, for working so diligently to interpret these newest directives and providing us with timely answers to our members' questions. The number one question being asked in our industry is, has the directive on open houses and showings been lifted? The quick answer is no. Under phase two, we will continue to operate under the guidelines and directives of phase one. This means we may not hold in-person open houses and cannot conduct in-person showings of tenant occupied homes. Another popular question amongst agents is, may I ask tenants to take pictures or videos of their residents? Yes. You can ask a tenant for these images, but they are not obligated to provide them. If a tenant wishes to help by providing photos and or videos, these images can be used to create a virtual tour to post on MLS or other platforms to list the property. If a seller wishes to show their property that they reside in, what are some of the best practices that I should follow? 
Our association has developed a best practices flyer on how to conduct a safe showing of an owner-occupied home during this time. It is a great asset and we urge all members to utilize it, give it away, or post it on your website. Please visit our Association Watch page to download. Another question many are asking, how can I show properties to potential buyers if I cannot conduct an open house or showing? Because we live in the great age of technology, the ability to live stream, photograph, and conduct virtual tours has exploded. These are the best tools to utilize to showcase your clients' beautiful homes and properties. I would also like to point out that our team members at the Northern Nevada Regional MLS have been working with our service providers to integrate these technologies into their tools. We now have three branded and three unbranded links for each listing on MLS. These service providers have even bolstered the public's ability to find and view these links. This helps to create increased awareness of a potential new home. Another question on the minds of many brokers and agents is when will we be able to reopen our offices? In phase two, the reopening of brokerage offices is extended until June 30th. This means that brokers and agents must continue to communicate via electronic communication methods. This also gives brokers the ability to create effective reopening plans to follow all guidelines and directives put forth in local, state, and federal agencies. These are just a few of the commonly asked questions among members. If your question wasn't answered today, please contact Nevada Realtors Legal Team via phone 1-800-748-6999 or email infoline at nvrealtors.org. They are here to help us all continue to protect Nevadans during this COVID-19 crisis and help us remain essential to the state as it continues to reopen to the public. Before I turn it back over to Erica, I would like to ask you to keep an eye out for next month's special edition of To The Point. We will be talking about community, specifically our great Northern Nevada community and how we can all come together to support local businesses and more importantly, each other as human beings. Together, we are better. Erica, back to you. Thank you, Gary, for all that wonderful information and providing us with a sneak peek into our next To The Point. Remember to subscribe to our RSAR Realtors YouTube channel to see all our latest videos, including conversations with the president. Be sure to join us again next month as we once again get to the point.